Hello, 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 kindergarten friends. Today is Thursday. It is the very last day in the month of April. Tomorrow we will start a brand new month. We are going to continue on our plight to learn some more consonant blends. So just like yesterday, we are not going to go over our sounds individually. We will read stories that have plenty of letters and sounds in them. And we will also work more on our consonant blends. We're going to learn three different consonant blends today because we have time for that. So the first thing we're going to do is read a story about Sam. He goes fishing with his dad and this is going to be the activity that you do on Nearpod later today. You will answer some comprehension questions again. So while Miss Hales is reading to you, I just need you to pay good attention to what's happening in the story, who the characters are, what they are doing in the story. So, are you ready? The story that I'm going to read today with you is called Sam and the Fish. While we're reading, I would like for you to pay close attention to words that we've learned and we're calling them tricky words because they try to trick us with different vowel sounds. So, they don't follow the rules like they usually would. So let's review our tricky words that we've learned so far. The first one is the, a, of, and all. Read them with me. The, a, of, and all. Okay, let's go ahead and start with our story. This is our first page and it says, this is Sam. Sam and his dad fish in a pond. Sam's dad brings a rod. Sam brings a net. Sam and his dad sit and sit. Then zap. Sam's dad gets a fish. The fish jumps. The fish twists and swims. The fish swims past Sam. Sam swings his net. Sam lifts up the net. The fish is in the net. Sam and his dad grin. So when you go to Nearpod after the lesson today, you will have that story there and you, it will be read to you. And then I want you to answer some questions. The questions are all listed there. Again, just like yesterday, have your grown up help you if you need help reading the questions and reading the answers, but then you make your choices for yourself, okay? There are two different consonant blends that we're going to focus on today. Both of them were in the story that Miss Hales just read to you. The first one is SW as in the word swings and the word swims. And the second one that we're going to learn today is BR as in brings. Okay? Alright, so the first one we're going to do is SW. When we read the S and the W together, we say the sounds together very quickly. They, they keep their sound. When we have the SW together, it says sw, sw, real quickly like that. It's very awkward to say, just like the S and the N. It's awkward to say unless you're reading it in a whole word. So let's see what it looks like in some words, okay? So SW says sw. Let's try a word or two for three or four or five or six. <laughs> okay, so here's the first one. Swim, swim. Say that with me. Swim, swim. Good job. So just the S and the W together says sw, sw, but all together it says sw, im, swim. Good. 
try another one. Swag. Swag. Read it with me. Swag. Swag. Good. Let's try this one. The A in this word right here, the A is nasal. So it kind of says ah. Okay. Sw. Am. Swam. Say that one with me. Sw. Am. Swam. Nice job. Here's the, oh, another word, an SW word. When we just have the S and the W, it's sw, sw. But here we have ing. Remember, ing says ing. So let's read that together. Sw, ing, swing. You try it. Sw, ing, swing. Good. Now here again we have the ng which says ng, sw, ung, swung. Try it with me, sw, ung, swung. Here are those double letters. When we see the double letters, just like yesterday, when we had the SS or the FF, we only say the L sound one time, okay? So it's sw, L, swell. Try it with me. Sw, L, swell. Good. All these rules we need to learn. Okay, so when you have double E's together like this, it says the sound of the letter. So it says E. E. It's the long E sound. So it's sw, eat, sweet. The, the candy was sweet. Read it again with me. Sw, eat, sweet. Now we're going to do BR. BR says brr. What does it say? Burr. They still keep their sounds. The B still says B and the R still says R. We just put them together. Burr. Okay, so let's try the, some of these. <clears throat> Here we go. Burr at brat. Say it with me. Burr at brat. Try another easy one. Here we go. Brr, ag, brag. When you have the br together, it just says brr. What does it say? Brr. Say that three or four times with me. Brr, 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 brr. Okay, so here we go. Brr, ag, brag. Your turn. Brr, ag, brag. Very nice. Okay, now we know that ing says ing, right? So here we go. Brr, ing, bring. One more time. Brr, ing, bring. Good work. Let's try this one. Brr, Ass, brass. We just say the S sound s one time. Brr, ass, brass, brass. Brr, ig, brig. One more time. Brr, ig, brig. Let's try this one. Remember, SH says shh. So let's do this one. Brr, uh, brush. Did you brush your hair today? Did you brush your teeth today? Let's sound it out again. Brr, uh, brush. Good. 
you fill something all the way up to the top, if you're pouring a cup of water and you fill the water all the way up to the top, almost so that it spills over, we say you filled it to the brim, brim. So let's read the word, brim, brim. Good job. One more time, brim, brim. Nice. Here's a word that's a little bit longer, but we can still do it because we know all of these sounds. We know that CH says ch, 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 right? So let's try it. Brr, anch, branch. One more time. Brr, anch, branch. Nice work. This one has a little word in there. What is that little word? And, good, so let's put the burr on the front. Burr and brand. Read it with me. Burr and brand. Very good. And the last one that we're gonna do has that CK at the end. And CK says k. So let's sound this one out. Burr, ick, brick. You try it with me. Brr, ick, brick. Very nice. Good job. So today we went over the consonant blend for burr, and we also went over the consonant blend for sw, sw. Okay, so there's a ton more words that you should be able to read. What I would like for you to do is go on Nearpod, have the story read to you, and then answer the comprehension questions after that and then join me back here tomorrow on Friday morning and we'll learn some more consonant blends and we're also going to learn a couple more tricky words. So have a great afternoon. Bye!